Hey everybody, this is Emma, Emma's friend. I was the person who made the frog video. Well, slash turtle, it didn't really turn out as a frog. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dex bracelet. And it looks like this. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's purple and pink. And then there's black and white in the middle. Um, you can use what, how many ever colors you want. Today I'm just using three. This is our own original design. I will be using um, blue and pink and white. I really love these colors together. And for if you're using as many colors as I am, if you have a bigger wrist than me, you should be using more than me. But for me, I use about um, 10, well, more than 10, like 15 and 15, and probably about like maybe 10. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, if you guys have ever made the diamond bracelet, this it has kind of the form of a diamond, but with the twist. We're gonna start up here at the top of our loom. I'm going to be using this part of my loom, but you can use any loom you want. I'm not using that part, I'm just using all this. So you get one single rubber band, whatever rubber band you're using, and place it diagonally. And then get the opposite color that you are using and put it diagonally on the other side. And then you can, I like doing it fun, you know. So I'm going to put the blue right there and the pink right there to where it's not synced into its colors. Like that. And you are going to keep making this pattern. You can make it a different pattern. And you do it until you get to about the size of, if you guys have made a single before, which I'm guessing you have, about as long as the size you would need for a single. Now, if you're wondering that, like, I don't know if she's copying, but here's where the twist comes in. You take your um, little rubber bands, and it's kind of like uh, you're doing a single, and you just make it go down. Through the whole bracelet. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering why I call it the Dex, here is your answer. The only reason why I call it the Dex is because before I put on the white bands, as you can see, that part looks like a diamond without the white. So, like that, it looks like a diamond. But right here, it looks like an X. And a diamond plus X made me think of Dex. So, that's why it is called a Dex if you're wondering. So at the very end of your bracelet, you are going to be putting a cat band with one single rubber band. You're gonna loop it around three to four times. Depends on how stretchy your um, bands are. Mine bands are really stretchy, and if yours aren't, you might have a hard time with this. Let's start looming. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start our looming process we're going to go under our three or four cat bands. Make sure you don't get the white and the cat bands mixed up like I just did. <laughs> so neat. And you're going to grab your white, or in this case, mine is white. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the pink one. That will happen sometimes, but don't get frustrated when it does. By the way, sorry for the, if you hear running water in the background. Yeah, sorry. You shall loop it over like that. But before you like start over there, because that will hold, it will look fun. You're going to get your pink, or in my case, pink rubber band, and go over there. You're going to get your blue, or you know, in my case, blue. Sorry if I keep saying that. If it's very annoying, and go on all your cap. Get your blue. Oh, my blue has a wart. That means it has a little bump in it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're we have gonna, weird looming sling. You're going to grab your pink rubber band. Go to the middle where you loop your white rubber band. Same with your blue rubber band. And you're going to go down to your white. This has a lot of rubber bands on it. 
So don't get mad if one snaps or anything. When I, when I first created this design, a lot of rubber bands snapped, so just be calm. Conscious. I mean, cautious. Yes. That's what I meant. <laughs> and I'm usually the grammar police. <laughs> I always correct people. It's a problem sometimes. We're going to do this till you get to the end of your loom. Okay, so I have finished your the hooking process. If you haven't, go ahead and pause the video and finish that. As you can see here in the middle, you can already kind of see the resemblance of this bracelet. So now we are going to we are going to finish it off. Yeah, that. Uh, you put your hook in all these rubber bands and check under to make sure that you have got all your rubber bands on your hook. You're going to turn it to where when you put your final rubber band on it that it is facing downwards. Because if you don't, it might um, get caught get caught in other loom rubber bands. And that is very um, frustrating. Yeah, that. <laughs> so you're going to bring that up. You're going to put both of them on your hook. You're going to um, overlap them. You're going to grab that. And we finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> Frozen reference. And it's kind of like a nut. So if you have watched Nina's strawberry video, you'll, you can get an easier way of how to make this. So when I undo this, um, I usually start with the flaps like that. I, flaps. <laughs> yeah, I, I call them flaps. Like wings. Yeah. Rings. Whatever you want to call them. Like that. And then I do that also with the blue. After I said that we finished each other's sandwiches, I really want to watch Frozen for the 20th time. <laughs> but who hasn't seen it 20 times, right? <laughs> most people have. You're most going people to aren't 10. Unloom right here. You're going to take your cap rubber band, bring it up. I would suggest doing it with your fingers, but I would be really careful. So take it off your loom, as shown. And there, you have a Dex rubber band, originally designed by me. Hope you like it. Thank you. Bye.